And it is 10 o'clock. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. <laughs> this is Torn Atkinson with, once again, another episode of 20 Minute Monsters, where I draw a, uh, a monster from one of the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons monster books. First, I started out with the monster manual. I went through A to Z and drew a monster from every letter of the alphabet. And now I'm doing that with the Fiend Folio, the 1981 Fiend Folio. I'm on the letter S. Um, before I get started, I want to remind you, as always, to support me on Patreon if you can. Just send me a dollar a month and I'll keep doing the things that you want me to do, which is, I hope, drawing monsters. And I live stream on Twitch TV, although... I'm not sure I will continue on Twitch. I'm going to move... This is this will be the last one on Twitch. Uh, next week, I'm going to move to my YouTube channel, and we're going to see how engagement changes, if any. Um, the benefit with um, my YouTube channel... Well, let me show you. Let me show you. Where's my YouTube channel? Here we go. So, this is my YouTube channel. Uh, yesterday I did uh, the Tower of Xenopus. I did some mapping. Let's go ahead and click on that. Just mute it. Uh, so here you can see I actually have my... I, get, I can get my webcam to work, whereas with uh, the Twitch interface, not so much. So I went and had it... Uh, I went ahead. I drew... <laughs> I hate when people say, go ahead and do that. I just say, do that. Uh, the Tower of Xenopus from the sample dungeon in, one of, in the Holmes edition, 1970. Nine? 1977? Uh, oh, it's written down right here, 1977. Uh, yeah, because I ran this adventure a couple times for uh, two different groups, and so I thought it would be fun to make an isometric map. So uh, I did that. Um, so anyway, subscribe to my channel there. It's uh, Torn Atkinson 1983, and I'll show you the final. It's not final, final, but uh, I, t I plussed it up a little bit after I finished. So there is the the ruins of Xenopus, and I was thinking about putting this on my Patreon with all of my notes, and as like a, a, a downloadable Photoshop or TIFF file where you, you can uh, turn the different layers on and off, so you can have a, a, a map for your players, uh, or at least you can have a map with notes and a map without, and a map with uh, uh, yeah different layers, you know. So uh, I need to I need to update my Patreon. I haven't done that since last month, early last month. So I'm way overdue. And, uh, what else? Yeah, so, uh, fine. Go to my, um, tornatkinson.com and buy some, uh, some of my original D&D art from the, uh, early, uh, late 90s and early 2000s. There's still many available. And, uh, of course, my Instagram, tornatkinsonartist. So with that out of the way, I can just delete that whole layer, that, uh, oop, oh, oh, let's just delete that whole layer. I'm gonna save my work. And today we are drawing... The Shadow Demon from the letter S in the Fiend Folio. Uh, let's let's find out about this monster. Uh, very rare. They are medium size. They are chaotic evil. Their intelligence is very high. They have three attacks apparently: claws, claw, claw, bite, which would be a great name for a Darkest of the Hillside ticket song. This foul creature of dark evil from the lower plains is the essence of a demon imprisoned in the form of a shadow, which is exactly which it exactly resembles. Like the shadow, the creature cannot be detected ninety percent of the time. I can detect my shower, my, my shadow, and my shower, uh, since it appears as a vague shape and can easily be confused. Can be can easily be confused. Well, that, uh, uh. That makes it sounds like the shadow demon can be confused. In the gl in the guttering light conditions of a dungeon with the shadows of dungeon features or of adventurers themselves. It is not, however, from the negative material plane, and so its attacks do not drain the strength of a victim, as do those of the shadow. Instead, it attacks normally with two claws and a vicious bite. Uh, yeah, small wings, says Shemina Samus. Uh, shadow demon getting old and can be easily confused. Yes, it's got the shadow dimension. The body structure of the creature is most peculiar and leads to the creature being more powerful in darkness and more vulnerable in conditions of bright light. Skip this uh, paragraph. The creature is totally immune to fire, cold, and lightning of the ordinary or magical kinds. However, if a light spell is cast upon it, the shadow demon is affected is affected as if by a fireball. 
The creature has small wings, too small to give it flying abilities, but large enough to boost the creature's leap with its initial attacks. So here's my question. If it doesn't have flying abilities, does it just stand on the tippy, the tippy tip of its, uh, because it doesn't have feet? Does it just sit? Um... Blah, 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 blah. It will always leap to the attack if it has not been detected by its potential victims. The wings also give it a the ability to half fly, half run. What does that mean? Hover? It will usually use this maneuver as a prelude to escape if necessary. <laughs> Once every day, the Shadow Demon can cast darkness 10 foot radius and fear over a 30 foot radius. Once every week, it may execute a magic jar attack on a victim. Though, if the victim makes it safe against this attack, the Shadow Demon will be stunned. For one to three rounds. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that was fun. So that's the Shadow Demon from the Straight Out of the Fiend photo. Let me quickly grab this reference. Cut. Delete. Paste. There we go. So we'll keep that handy. Maybe we'll put it over here. Uh, here is the Tony Ditcherlizzi. One of my favorite D&D &D artists, I always like to show his uh, version from the second edition of Dungeons & Dragons and Planescape. Uh, looks quite different. I uh, won't actually be using that, so deleted. But thank you, Tony, for your service. And here is the Shadow Demon in the 1983 Dungeons & Dragons cartoon. So, so I thought it might be a fun idea. Uh, so in the cartoon, uh, Shadow Demon never casts, never uses any of his special abilities. He's just basically the spy for Venger, who's the big bad uh, evil guy uh, in, the, uh, in the cartoon, uh, Venger. And... Um, yeah, he's just kind of a spy. He just spies on the heroes and everything else. And uh, so I thought it would be fun to include Venger in this drawing. Um, here's Venger on uh, riding his nightmare. It's funny that he has to hang on to the pair, the mane of the nightmare. And uh, I just uh, I thought it would be useful to see that the that Shadow Demon, uh, whose name is Shadow Demon, is kind of semi-transparent. Translucent, I guess, would be the word. And there he is again, uh, doing something unspeakable. Um, I thought it might be fun to draw them in... Um, oh, I got him on the wrong layer here. X, let's make a new layer. This is my drawing layer. I don't want my reference on my drawing layer. In fact, let's... No, I did it again. Undo. Control-V. Make him, let's go ahead and make him semi-transparent so I don't get confused. This is my drawing layer. I thought it might be, and this is we're not we're not timing the drawing yet. I thought it might be uh, fun to do it like in front of Venger's Castle. So I looked up Venger's Castle, and there's like four different designs of Venger's Castle, and they're all very busy. So not only would it take more time to draw Venger's Castle, but I think it would be distracting for the uh, excuse me for the uh, composition. So I'm just gonna do it inside a room. Uh, oh, uh, Nick is here. Hello, Pogo Hops. Yes, Pogo Hops is the method of transportation by which Shadow Demon moves. Uh, Charles Smith, I'm old and easily, easily confused too. Not scary at all, though. Balance, uh, Shimanus Amos balances on its ballet shoes. Yes, missing the left horn. Yes, that's Venger. Venger is. Um, I also have... Where's the toy? There's also a Shadow Demon toy, but uh, I just wanted this one for... For reference, of Revenger. He's yes, he's the he's the mono horn. And uh, what else do I have? Oh, this is so. This is um, this is a picture of my friend Kolya, a reference image that I had on file uh, for an old drawing I did of a uh, for a comic book. So I just thought I'd uh, reuse that uh, perhaps as reference. So which one do I need? I don't think I need that one. That one's funny, so I'll just keep it on hand. And uh, you can see that Shadow Demon has, uh, compared to the image in the theme fellow, the, the proportions are a little bit different. Whereas in the cartoon. I think I'm going to lean, I don't know, maybe a hybrid between the two. I don't think there's much of a difference. Except in this one, uh, the theme fellow, he's got eyebrows. And in the other one, uh, he doesn't have eyebrows in the cartoon. So, I don't know, I'll make that, I'll make that decision later. We'll see. Alright, so I'm going to save my work and we're going to start drawing. It is 10.09 and uh, so that means we want to be done by 
at the latest. So let's um, let's rough out. I want. I kind of want less of a less of a pose like this with the head up here, and more of a kind of a side pose so you can see his body more. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out. How's the how's the volumes, everyone? I feel like it might be a little bit. Just a little. Is the music a little bit too loud, or is it okay? For me, it's a little bit too loud. You tell me what you guys think. Uh, anyway, uh, so let's get a. Let's get a. What should we do here? We'll get a perspective plane here for the ground, and then another one for the back wall. Uh, we like the music. Great. Uh, did have a reference I pulled up for the interior of where are we here? I just uh, that's my reference I'm using. It's on my other screen, so it doesn't. Just so I can have in his thing. We'll put and we'll put. So we'll put Venger here. His face will be like this. We will have the arm up here. Maybe we'll just use, just, just slightly adapt the pose here. I did some life drawing this week, so that was fun. It's been a long time since I, since I've done that. Venger, the force of evil, as Dungeon Master says. So shoulder here, other shoulder here. Eyes will be like hereish. And then Shadow Demon will be maybe he's maybe he's got like a dagger stuck in him. <laughs> Too gruesome? No, I say no. And Shadow Demon will be like ah, ha, 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 I find me my revenge. He doesn't have horns. I noticed the Shadow Demon, hornless. I want him. Maybe I. Maybe maybe he's too big in the. Foreground here. Let me size him down just a little bit so we have more space for for our good buddy, the Shadow Demon. Although Shadow Demon is evil, there's some sympathy. <laughs> he gets some sympathy um, because he's such a he's treated so very poorly <laughs> by by adventure. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. I don't know. Interesting composition. Well, we got to put his wings in there. His arms are kind of in the place where his wings would be. So maybe I just do his wings lower. What's going on in the chat? What setup do you use at Life Drawings? Do you take a tablet? Uh, I have a pad. I have a pad of paper. And that's it. And drawing utensils. I used... What's his hips doing here? Let me check my reference. Yeah, he's got hips, he's got knees, he just doesn't have feet. Okay, that's interesting. Um, is this going to be my final layer? Or Okay, so where's the wings? Wings are small. Bup, bup, I never listened to Star Trek, the cartoon music. Something like that? Is that going to work? Is that our composition? And then uh, let's put let's put a little bit of more room at the margins. And then we can put maybe some interesting foreground element here. And uh, some other penis-shaped objects here. <laughs> Always important to get the penis-shaped objects. Maybe my uh, background perspective is a little too dramatic. Let's tone that down. And maybe we can see a little bit of a roof here. And there'll be some windows. Maybe he'll be framed by a window here. Very cleverly. And then some exits. Here's a door. We're not going to worry too much about this. Yeah, let's have this my rough layer. So, uh, let's, we, I think we can get rid of Kolya for the time being. Let's uh, save my work. 
Uh, a shadow dagger. That's a good idea. Oh, Charles, you're smart. Um, yeah, old school. I use pen and paper. I use... Um, do I have any? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that now. Maybe uh, remind me at the end, and I'll show you my my life drawings. Uh, all right. So let's actually make this really, really light, so you can barely see it. And let's draw Venger, because I feel like Venger's actually. No, let's do Shadow Demon. This is my new layer. It's gonna be green. Let's do the Shadow Demon. He's gonna be his own layer because we're going to want to. <laughs> He's more hunchback in the, uh, let me see, no, we don't want that. He's more hunchback in the, less hunchback in the cartoon, more hunchback in the, uh, fiend folio, but we won't worry about that too. Kind of skinnier. Let's make him, let's go ahead and make him skinnier. Let's do, let's lean into the. Fiend folio version. Do you think he's, will, he, will his hands be be able to see his claws, or should he be like fists? Like, yeah, I think fists. I think fists might be more appropriate. Even though he's just going to be a shadow, it's always helpful to draw everything out so you make sure you have your perspective right. I mean, your, uh, pers not perspective, um, anatomy. That's the word I'm looking for. I feel like his head might be just a little bit too big. And so his eyes will be here, I guess. And we might, we might draw those in later. He doesn't have ears, does he? No ears, does he? Any ears? No ears. Earless. Earless, but not fearless. Okay, great. Oh, what happened to my... Come back, Zinc. He's got kind of a... Barrel torso, like a... Like a Mike Magnola drawing. Let's draw the center line. Rip cage. Hips. Legs. The legs are merged together. This one, his knees would be here. His crotch would be here. Let's get those wings in there. A little bit higher. And then, whoops. Just fill all that in because he's a shadow. He's a shadow. I'm not doing any fancy um, alliteration today with the SH sound, as I sometimes do. For example, last week there was a retriever wrecking a uh, rector on a what was it rara rara daughter <laughs> I, learned a, I learned a new word last week okay but this yeah so it's not shadow demon shank although he is kind of shanking shadow demon shanking is what's a word for master that begins with an sh sound be wisping off into nothingness here. He definitely flies in the cartoon. There's he all he does is fly. He flies up, he flies sideways. Let's take that a little bit. So there's our shadow demon. We can go ahead and make him semi-transparent and he's done. I'm gonna lock that layer. Locked. Nothing will change it now. It's setting stone. Uh, so I need a new layer for the rest of the drawing. Actually maybe I'll yeah let's do venture. Let us do venture I'll make Venger red. Why not? Because he's evil. Need my reference. Da, 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 da. So the, so the. Yeah, let's just go ahead then. This dungeon master. We don't need dungeon master. Get out of here, dungeon master. You're not welcome here. So the thing is on his. Let me just go ahead and my, rotate my canvas so I can. I can mess it up. All right. So here's my red layer. Let's draw the. His eyes. Why? Why? Oh. 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 There we go. The dead eyes. He does have pupils. Uh, right? Doesn't he? Let me check my, let me check my other references. Uh, 
go away. Yeah, he's got pupils. Okay. So many 80s and 90s cartoons didn't have pupils. Uh, where's my toy? Did my toy back? But he doesn't have a nose. Uh, he's got those dorky uh, shadow demon. That's sad and alarming. That's all right. We can manage. We'll figure it out. Does can you see Avengers fingernails in the cartoon? These are things important things we have to reference. So there's the basic anatomy structure of the arm. But uh, how does that affect the costume? I almost used the wrong shortcut again for rotating my canvas. Uh, nope. Uh, goodbye, Kolya. You're done. Uh, let's move these things to the right layer now. We want the red layer. Uh, yeah, so he's got... What does he have? He has these... These things. Draperies. Over here draperies over there. I might need Kolya again for when I get, and then these, I guess, are just kind of like, what do you call them? Bracers. And then you can see his hands. Okay, that's cool. We're doing good. We're doing good. Everything's coming up. And uh, so we got his Alright, come back, Kolya. How's your feet? Your foot would be dun 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 Your foot would be there's your knee. There's your foot. <laughs> That's fine, because we're not going to... Let me do your other hand while we're here. Uh, Kolya, the magical man. Kolya I've known for a good long time. I haven't seen him for years, though. How are you doing, Kolya? Uh, this is the one I want. Did I... Where's the rest of my red layer? Oh, I just need to merge those two layers. Okay. Now we're good. Now we're good. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's get, uh, your arm up. So there's your shoulder would be here. Let's get that arm up. 
let's get rid of this for a moment and uh, do that. How are we doing for time? Ten. Oh, okay, I gotta get. I gotta get moving here. He doesn't have claws. He just has a regular human hand. Our good friend, Venture. No, he's not our good friend. He's our enemy. Okay, now I feel like I'm. I'm really got to be done with. I don't know. He doesn't look dead enough. Let's put the shadow dagger on the shadow layer. Where's my? Yes. I said it was going to be locked forever, but it's not. Uh, uh, pointy. <laughs> I think that works. Okay, now locked forever. Okay, now it's background time. Or do I just keep... Do I just use the blue layer as the background layer? Huh? How about that? And then I erase all this junk here. I can erase this, and then that becomes the background layer. And I can just uh, spend a couple minutes finessing that. Bop, bop, bop. Wop, wop, wop. All right, let's get rid of our, rid of our other reference. That's not reference. Where's this? Is the one. Okay, so I think we're doing all right. Uh, this is my background layer. Um, I guess we can put in some more. I want to turn, crank it up a bit. Sure, let's crank it up a bit. And then we know we need to get rid of. We don't need to. We don't want to. We just want to get rid of the shadow demon lines, not the background lines. But yeah, because we want to see. Some of this business. Some of this business. Here's the. Here's a penis-shaped tower. Could be more penis-shaped. There we go. Now it's more penis-shaped. And there should there be another one over here. Oh, you penis-shaped towers. Columns. Does it need more texture? Dun, 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 dun. That's more text. I feel like my brush is too thick. It's really making, making, uh, putting more attention than needs to be on the background. So maybe I will change the lightness. All right, let's. I should be able to see some of the inside of this. And sure, let's put. Let's do this one down here. And then the floor. I think we're pretty much at time. We got one minute to go. I think we're doing all right. This will be an actual official 20-minute monster. Bah, 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 bah. Let's put some shadow. here going. Let's do a wispy brush. Just just for some get some Avenger. Uh, Avenger's worst day. But Shadow Demon's best day. Let's do something like that. I don't know. How does it look, guys? I think it's fair. Do I need any white highlights? I don't think I do. I feel like this is fine. Whoa, hello. I pressed the wrong button. And uh, this is time. We're at time. This is uh, a successful 20-minute monster. Oh, you know what's bugging, bugging me right now? There's this, this is tangent happening here. Let's, uh, oops, I erased. I erased some things I didn't want to erase. So let's just quickly. That's, I think that's all fine. I'm not too worried about that. Just separating him from the layer behind him. Oh, here's the uh, artifact of our previous dagger. So, yeah, this is it. We did it. Awesome. Happy, 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 happy. Um, let me check the, uh, I wonder where he buys those gray dresses. Yeah, no kidding. The shadow, that's uh, Shimena Zamus. Uh, Charles Smith says the shadow for capturing people as in the FF description, Fiend Foley description. 
Uh, yeah, the dagger seems to have done the trick, though. What was the motive for Shadow Demon to kill him with a dagger? I want, he probably just, like, that was the last straw. Like, like he was, uh, Shadow Demon, he, uh, Avenger was bossing him around, like he always does. And Shadow Demon was like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then Avenger would say, indeed. And, uh, and he would be like, yeah, indeed. And then I, uh, and then I, uh, stab you with my Shadow Dagger. All right, so we're done. I need to maybe we'll use red. Nice blood red. And we'll say uh, make it nice and big. Twenty. Oh no, hello. This is not the not the one I wanted. Twenty. Bigger. Bigger. Yes. Twenty minute monster. gonna put my twitch down here I'm just gonna put Torin Atkinson 24 and let's just put a little let's put a little white white glow around that so you can see it better I mean how does that look how does that look everybody I think that looks okay um, so now what we need to do is well first of all I'll save my work because that's a wise thing to do and we're gonna check what's what are the options for next week? Next week on YouTube, a reminder, not on um, Twitch. Uh, so we did the S's, we did Shadow Demon. So next week is going to be the Tabaxi. Oh, the Tabaxi first appeared in the Fiend Folio. Interesting. Tentamort. Mm. I don't know what that is, but I like the sound of it. Terathran, Thakwa, Thork, <laughs> Throat Leech. Ooh, that's a nice one. Tigerfly, Tirafeg, Trilloch, Troll. What? Tr no, Troll was in the... No, I gotta check this out. I gotta open my fiend photo. Where's the Troll? So, I gotta see this Troll. It couldn't possibly... Oh, we can look at that. This is... We're still on the letter S here. Sorry, this is taking so long. There's the Tabaxi. Oh, look at that. It's <laughs> Okay. There's the Tentamort. Oh, my God. I really want to draw that. The Terathran. The Thakwa or Rockworm. The Thork is just a... Looks like a Stork. <laughs> <laughs> With the TH, the throat leech, love it. Tigerfly, that's got a little human face, that's creepy. The Tirafeg, that's weird. The Trilock, and the Troll. Okay, so it's, so there's already, yeah, because the Troll appeared in the Monster Manual. I knew that. So now there's, these are just different versions of the Troll. Giant Troll, Two-Headed Troll, Ice Troll, Spirit Troll, interesting. And then a tween. Those are the other, um, so yeah, cast your votes. I don't really have a huge... I mean, it might be fun to draw a thork. <laughs> but, uh, in the meantime, uh, yeah, subscribe, like and subscribe, my friends. Uh, Shumanus Amos says, tween, a vicious 12-year-old. Yeah, murderous tween. Yeah, I agree. That would be fun. Um, like me on the social media, Facebook, all those, all those places. Uh, Nick says, thank no, thank you. And I will see, I will bid you a fond farewell, and I will see you, I will see you next time on the internet.